Hello students. We are going to start working on an animal project. So hopefully you've already chosen your animal and you can get started on this because step one is going to be for you to learn as much as you can about your animal. Now I've given you guys a couple of different record sheets that you can use to guide your learning, but really it just comes down to what do you want to learn? Look at books, look at websites, look at videos, anything you can find that's going to help you to learn about your animal. And I want you to just record as much of that as you can. You can write it down in a notebook or a sheet of paper, or you can put it directly into a project or write it down on some sort of digital document. Step two is going to be creating a slideshow about your animal. And that slideshow is going to include pictures, video possibly, text, as much information as you can so that you can show us what you've learned. Okay, I just want to take a few minutes to show you some of the things you need to... Okay, I want to show you a few of the things that you're going to do when you start your animal project. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Google Slides. And Google Slides is here. And you're going to use the personal version. And that should take you into your um, account. Now, if you're logged in with your Google ID, you should go to your account. You'll see all of the slideshows that you've made and that have been shared with you. Um, but we're going to start something new. And I'm going to create a new presentation. And I would like you to title it as soon as the option is available. You're going to title it with your name and then put a dash and put animal project. Put the name of your animal. I spelled it wrong. There we go. And that will make it easy for you to find it. It'll make it easy for me to find it later. And then you can create your title page, right? Well, your title page will be a little bit more exciting than that. Pictures, video, and I'm going to work on mine as I go. But the very first thing I want to create before I do anything else is I want to create a sources page. Now, you've done this before. You've all done this before. But just as a refresher, a sources page is going to tell people where you got your information from. It's not yours. You do not create this information. You do not research it yourself. You got it from somewhere else. Let's do an example. I'm going to go here back to just Google, opening a new window here, and I'm going to search for orca whales. And there's all kinds of information. There's videos. There's websites. Let's go to this one here. Facts and information. And I'm going to find pictures and I'm going to find information all throughout this video that's going to tell me about Oracle whales. And I got to be patient. Also, find some advertisements, of course. You can do what you want with that. If you want to buy dresses at the dress shop, go ahead. But if you don't, just ignore them. You guys know how to ignore advertisements. All right, so look at all this information. Classification, size, diet, and then pages and pages of stuff I can read. Okay, I'm going to use this as one of my sources. So, National Geographic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my animal project 
and I'm going to say National Geographic. Now, here's the cool thing. Because this is a website, I can highlight it. Let's go back here for a second. Here's the link up here. I can take this link, copy it. I'm going to hit Control C to copy. And then I can go back to my Animal Project page. And I have this link here. And get rid of that for a second. And you see this little chain link here? It's supposed to look like a chain. It says insert link. I'm going to click it. And then I can paste this and apply it. And now that those words become a link. And other people who are watching my slideshow can click that link to go to uh, that back to that website. And if I do that for all of my sources, it will be really easy for people to find where I got my information from. Now here's the thing. If you make your project and then you wait till the very end to do your sources page, you're gonna forget where you went and got your information from. And you're gonna have to go back and do all your research again. That's too much work. Instead, as you're researching, as you're reading books, as you are finding websites, as you are watching videos, just add them to your sources page. And then you'll have it all there. You'll be able to go back to it if you forget where something was and you'll have that information. So that is a quick tutorial on how you can set up your page and set up your sources. Now, my page looks really simple right now. I might do some more videos where I expand it, but I'm hoping that your pages, your slideshows will be filled with pictures, video, charts, graphs, maps, and a ton of information so that I and the rest of us can learn about your animal. I've also included this rubric that you can look at to get ideas as to what is expected from your project. The first page of the rubric talks about the appearance. That means, how does your project look? Is it easy for me to see the information? Uh, or did you put yellow letters on a white background and I can't even see it? Does it look neat and clean or is it messy? What is your depth of information? Do you have just very basic information or do you tell me a lot of things? Accuracy, this is pretty important. Is the stuff in your presentation true? Or do you have maybe some stuff that's questionable? Uh, media, that's asking, what else did you put into your project besides just words? Did you use maps, pictures, charts, graphs, videos? What did you use to help make it easier for your audience to learn about your animal? Writing, how was your writing? Did you use capital letters? Did you use periods? Did you spell words correctly? The last thing is your sources. Did you put that last slide at the end of your presentation that tells about where you got your information from? The second page of this rubric is the areas of research. See it there. The diet. Tell me about what your animal eats. It's home. Where does it live? It's appearance. Tell me, how does this animal look? Or even better, show me how this animal looks. Tell me about its life cycle. How does this animal reproduce? How does it care for its young? Its classification. What kind of groups does animal, or excuse me, what kind of groups do scientists put this animal into? Is it a mammal? Is it a vertebrae, an invertebrate? What type of, what, what type of animal is it? Give me the scientific name and then tell me how we classify it, and its relationships to humans. How do humans get along with this animal? Do humans eat this animal? Does this animal eat human? Is it endangered? If it's endangered, why? Is it endangered because people are killing it? Or is it endangered because people are destroying its environment? Or is it endangered for some other reason? But how do people relate to this animal? Now, these are all areas that you can investigate. You do not have to investigate every single one of those areas. And you can do other items of research, but this gives you a good guide 
as to what I'm looking for in a project and also really what other people who want to learn about your animal are looking for from your project. Because remember, the purpose of your project is to teach other people about your animal. I am very happy to answer individual questions that you may have about your project and help you in any way to make your project a success.